hope you didn't tie me. Did I make it? Was anybody on here a second ago with Debbie and I? <laughs> so I had to turn on more light, I had to get on my stool. Uh, you guys, welcome, it's Friday Night Live. I was just on here a minute ago, uh, actually 30 minutes, with Debbie Beard of Debbie's Design Diary, the wonderful woman who represents this DIY paint company. Uh, so thanks for popping on over here. We're gonna do some painting. I have a new buffet to start. Voila, it's um, Art Deco. It has the most fabulous hardware. Thank you, everybody, and clap your hands and thumbs up for that hardware right there. It's delicious. Um, and I'm using all, I did I make it, Michelle? I was running, I was running. I did 30 seconds, get out of here. I am good. I mean, let's just say that, because I can. I see you guys popping back on, on here. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to get um, Quita on here in just a moment as soon as I see her. You were Serafina. I'm so glad you're here. So, guys, this buffet is going to be in shades of blue. Let me show you my inspiration picture off of Pinterest. Do you see it? So... Um, thanks for coming back, you guys, and joining me. I know I literally was back in less than a minute. So um, see how this door here has this architectural design? I, I know I didn't even go potty, Karen. I made it. I did not even go potty. So I'm going to use my turquoise iris brush in the cheerleader. And my goal is to create a design kind of like this on the doors of this piece. Um, I challenged the ladies in my creative connection to, hi Karen, um, to find an inspiration photo, give the source, this is off of Pinterest, it's pinned underneath my doors around the world, um, and instead of doing flowers, I want to see if I can come up with a design, some sort of pattern, um, and this tile is amazing, yes, yes, all of you, so I'm going to use every shade of turquoise or every shade of blue that DIY has, um, including mint chip, and I'm gonna use it on here, but I'm not gonna make squares. Don't get me that, don't, don't, I'm not gonna give squares. But I'm gonna see if I can hand paint some sort of beautiful design. So I asked them to find a piece for inspiration, and then um, they could kind of show that, and then, so anyway, that's our challenge that we're working on in the group. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do it too. So um, thank you for redistributing this into the interwebs. I appreciate you all. Since I did not do a Friday Night Live last week, um, I apologize, you guys. Thanks for those of you that showed up and were trying to cheer me on and uh, when we had terrible service. It was like foggy and just, it was just crazy. Um, might need a deep break. I may need a deep break, even though, um, uh, okay, Hilda, you'll have to private message me. Um, hi, Michelle. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. So I'm going to start this buffet today. Um, hi, Mr. Pixie. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Josie. And um, we'll get Q up here. I know that it's a little bit steamy in her workshop, but she has been working like crazy all week. So let's see if she's here. Hi. Hello, you guys. Thanks for coming back on over. I was fast. I got back over here. I see Mama's here. And my, all my familiar faces. Thanks, you guys. Um, okay, there is no Q. Q is still on a break. So, I don't have any winners because I did not do a live last week. Um, what else did I miss? So, Debbie and I, Debbie Beard and I, are doing the um, doing a series just for the month of August. Every Friday at 8, we're going to talk kind of business. And I told a story at 8 o'clock in that that I had never told before about a piece of furniture that just, it just went south. Yeah, about six, seven years ago. Um, and then she had several, she had several stories to tell too. So um, it looks like Q is here. So let's get Miss C pulled up and see what she's been up to. I think she's missing me. She's probably been crying. Wonder where you live. Stacy Watley, hello. Hi, Allison. Thanks for being here every week with us. We appreciate you. And Sandra, you're here every week too. I appreciate you. 
redistributed with love. Um, you say that because if you say share, I can't ask you to share, apparently. So when I say redistributed, then that's what you're doing. And I appreciate you. There you are. Hi. Hi, sweetie. You look beautiful. What? What? Are you, what is this? Look how your fan is blowing on you. You look so gorgeous. You got butterfly wings, sister. Yeah, I got some wings. <laughs> how That's are you? Me. I'm good. Hold on. Let me turn my iPad on. Okay. Ooh, look at this, okay. Jim. Hey, hi, look hi. At yeah, it's hot. <laughs> you, you, where are you? Well, I'm not at the studio, so. Okay, you're not at the studio. That yeah. sounds good then. That means, <laughs> hopefully that means it's a little bit cooler for you. It's hot. Trying and it's not really, but it's okay. It'll be okay. It's just, it's all right. Yeah, how are you? I miss you. I haven't seen you forever. Well, I told everybody you were crying because you missed me so bad, but I don't think they believed me. That what? That you were crying because you missed me so bad, but I don't think they believed me and I don't believe it myself. I'm just teasing you. Honey, I'm doing great. I'm just, um, I missed, it was weird last week. We both couldn't do it. Like it was the first time ever. It was weird. Yeah. And yeah, over a year and a half. Yeah. It was weird. I, you know, I rented that beach house and it said excellent Wi-Fi. Maybe not so much. It was terrible. All of us. It was terrible. Even, you know, even like my, we had a, my son had a, you good? Go. I heard, I heard something. I heard it too. It's okay. It's okay. As long as it's not a light <laughs> fixture falling on your head, we're good. <laughs> okay. So you, you need to take a cue break and work out your eye. You, you well, I think I think the fan is like blowing in it. I'm trying to figure out where to put the fan so I can still hear you and still have a little bit of it on me. And yeah, it's hot and it's humid and it's August and just trying to suck it up. I feel the sweat just running down my back. It's so attractive. You look really pretty though. Well, for the moment, maybe yes, thank you. I try to like get on and look all fresh. But I don't know how long the fresh is going to last. <laughs> well, that's okay. You've been painting all day, right? You've been working today on all week? Yeah, all day and all day. I'm every day, all day. And uh, yesterday was pretty rough. I think it was catching up with me. But, um, yeah. So it, it, it tends to do that when I, and I just stay constant, constant, constant. And don't really stop to even see what time it is or you know, eat some food. <laughs> you know, when when you say things like that, it makes it sound like you really like your job. I do love my job, but I think I, I, I like overwork just a little bit my job and I could probably not do that so much. But as a creative, as you know, your mind doesn't stop and you want to get out there and create as much as you can, as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. And I'm only human. Mm -hmm. pretty much realized that did you just realize that today I noticed your post on Facebook yeah it, it, it sometimes it really does hit me that I can only do so much um so much you know and uh I want to do more and I want to produce more but just the reality of it's not always that so no, you have to take your cape off from time to time and pass it around and let somebody borrow the cape, okay? Yeah, sister? I don't even have a, I wish I had a cape. And I, like I said today, it's like there's there's no magic pill. There's not more than one of me. Um, yeah. But you got a magic and, wand. And it hangs out in your back pocket. I know you do. You got a magic you know, paint right, wand. Right here. <laughs> yeah, you got a magic yeah. paint wand. <laughs> no. And then it my magic paint pixie. I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay, so tell us what you're going to work on tonight. I was just telling them. I don't know if you heard me, but I was telling them what I'm working on. I did. Um, okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not building a door or tiling a wall. Mm -mm. So, wow, that's quite the inspiration there. So, so the, only thing, the, the only thing you really need to be looking at, Q, is the color. Okay. The tile the, back there. Like the fact tile? that I'm going to try to create, hand paint a design on these beautiful doors. Okay. 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 So the, the challenge in the group 
was to find the inspiration photo and then recreate it in your interpretation. So I'm going to do it too. Right. I'm not entering right. the contest because the winner gets a free ticket to our class. So I'm not. I know. Gonna I was going to. I was going to enter, and I was. I mean, I kind of can't enter since I'm part of. The, I've decided that we are pro the prize. So we're part of the prize. I really don't think I'm going to enter anyway. But I mean, I'm pretty much disqualified. I just yeah, if I draw your name, it's going to be an issue. <laughs> just don't put it in the hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, so the goal is to find inspiration. So what is it you're working on tonight? Um, I'm working on this uh, French, it's a French buffet. It's can't beautiful. Really it's up on uh, sawhorses. So it's a, as, as y'all know, I like the French stuff. So it's beautiful. Sorry, the birthday boy yeah. was coming in saying hi. It's really pretty. I didn't know I have my paint supplies but they're really not kind of laid out just yet. So as you're kind of starting, I'm going to lay mine out and kind of do that because I'm, I've got them, but you know, having to move them from point A to point B. So I can't tease you again because two weeks ago we went over the I'm time. Never ready. The time I'm never we, ready. There's a like FNL ever. and it's this paint show thing that we do. And it starts at eight 30 every Friday. I was trying to find a cute shirt. It's all about how you look, girl. It's all about it. I did. I wanted to have a cute shirt. I always look like, like a, a hobo who paints. You don't. You never look like a hobo who paints. If you do, you I sure don't look that way on Friday Night Live. They're telling you happy birthday, darling. Matthew. Well, happy birthday, Matt. <laughs> Before happy birthday, I forget. Matt. That was from Cube. <laughs> Everybody else is typing it out because he can't hear because I'm right here. I know. Well, he can. He maybe you'll see it later. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you get all your stuff. I'm going to grab. It's right here. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to grab um, Mint Ship, Apothecary, Old 57, Sea Glass, Mermaid Tail, and Bohemian Blue, because I'm going to use all the turquoises, because this little inspiration wall that I found off of Pinterest, they pretty much have every color in here. So I'm going to start working on the base coat tonight, and thank you for wishing him a happy birthday, you guys. Um, I was telling earlier on the live I did with Debbie that we went to pick out his birthday cake and he doesn't really care for chocolate, but he picked a chocolate cake. And I was like, why are you picking chocolate? I think he did it for me. Yeah. So it says chocolate, chocolate fudge. And I think he picked a birthday cake just because he knew I would like it. Yeah. That carrot cake we had at the last thing we did. Oh my gosh. That was so good. Matt and I like that. Somebody cake. bring us that. Did somebody bring yes. it in? I oh. believe so. I don't know where it you got Kimberly. it. It was Kimberly. No, it was Kimberly. Kimberly made it from scratch. Um, yeah. Oh, you know, Kimberly, blonde, beautiful. Yes, Texas. I don't. I'm, girl, unless they're wearing a name tag and I'm looking right at it, I can't. I try so hard. Oh, you know her. You know her. You've met her. I know so many her. Times. I know the face. I'm just like, drawing I a blank. Yeah. Because I'm so. on the camera. That's why I'm drawing a blank. He is a keeper, Carol. Thank it. you so much. Okay, so what color are you starting with, Q? Uh, I believe I'm going to start with Queen B. You do not have a plan? No. <laughs> no it was a joke. Am I supposed to have a plan? It's a joke. You know what? I was going to start with mint chip, and it just came to me that I'm going to actually start with a darker color first. Okay. I'm going to actually grab Bohemian Blue and put Mint Chip over it. So how about that, ladies and gentlemen? How about that? How about that? Did you see my beach towels with those pretty women on them? I sure did. They're amazing. I'm going to have to get one, even though I don't ever get to go to the Dadgum Beach. Well, the Dadgum Beach might be a scary place to go, but if you just go to the Beach Beach, it... <laughs> no. Well, I, I would like to go to the beach beat. I hope that before the summer ends, before the summer ends, I would like to just go to the beach. Well, okay. I hope that you can go to the beach. Um, it's not far from you. It's in Texas. It'd be a lot shorter drive than it was. So oh, when we're no, that's really, no, girl, that's far from me. To go to the beach? Yes, Galveston's far. Well, honey, it okay. It's far. 
Well, I'm not saying it's like close. I'm just saying it's a lot closer to you than it is me. Maybe a little bit. Oh, come on. So listen, we were yeah. on the, I'm scared of traffic. I am terrified of Dallas and Houston traffic. And yeah. so I, Matt knows, like we went around Houston on the way home. Houston is lousy traffic. He, well, like, this is what a guy in Dallas decided to do to us. We're on the highway and we're getting ready to exit. And we're exiting on the 45 to hit Houston. And I kid yeah. you not, 60 miles an hour, and this dude slams on his Jeep Cherokee brakes, and he does a U-turn on an off-ramp and comes back towards us. We all slam on our brake. We all go off onto the shoulder, and he does a U-turn and then does another U-turn and goes around, like, the barricade and then gets back into traffic while we're all sitting there going, what? I was not nice in my car. Like, he scared me so bad. That is horrible. It was oh it was God. the worst thing I've seen anybody do in traffic in a long time. They do some crazy stuff. Crazy. It was it, he could have killed several of us, really. It was really bad. And it's hard to let those things go. Matt says, Honey, you can't do anything about it. Nobody was hurt. You need to let it go. It's really hard for me to let things go like that. Yeah, um, my daughter drives down there, like, every day to work, and it terrifies me, like, every single day, and I I hate it. I, I don't want her to drive there ever again. I was hoping when <laughs> she wasn't living there, she wouldn't, but she still likes to work there, so we still drive to Dallas every day. Yeah. It just worries me all the time. There's so many people that just drive not normal, and... I think actually they are the normal, but we had such a great time on vacation and Matt brought fireworks and they popped him down on the beach. And um, other than having terrifying, er, terrifying, horrible service, it was great to get away. And we literally just sit on the beach and the boys play in the water. I did read a book though. I did read a book. Wow. I can't tell you the last book I've read. I can tell you I look at maybe but I fall asleep before I get very far well I have this deal with my mom I say mom if you read a book and it's really good you know that I'm gonna like it tell me but it has to be really good for me to take time is it time for our Instagram shot oh sure so I'm taking mint ship and putting it on top of bohemian blue in just some random areas right now I'm not trying to keep it balanced or anything. Just FYI, I forgot to tell everybody that. Okay, we take our picture now. Okay. I know somebody's taking this right now. I turned around and this is what the fan did. <laughs> At a girl. No. <laughs> Do you need me to look like you? Do you need me no, to, is this going to make you I feel wanna better? Fix it. Oh, this is going to be a battle all night. Then everybody will be mad at me because I messed with my hair all night long. Well, I'm doing the best I can, so I'm not dying. <gasps> I'm ready. I'm ready for it, sis. You're, you're going to look like that, and then I'm going to try to look normal. All right. Here's our Instagram. You I'm guys, sure they use got the hashtag the one where I FNL, FNL paint party. Use the hashtag show that you're watching, and you might win free paint. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Um, Tammy, you're not seeing everybody's comments. That was, you're the second person that um, that said that. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Okay. I can see awesome. the comment. I mean, I see watching. I don't really see comments, though. And I'm sure that somebody's commenting, right? <laughs> oh, I can see all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see all of them. Okay, so I started with Bohemian Blue, and now I've added some Mint Chip, which it doesn't look like Mint Chip, but it's a lot lighter. And I, so I started, this time I started with a darker color. And I'm just going to use all six of these blues on this piece as a base before I start trying to hand paint the, the architectural design that I'm going to do. And or I say I'm going to do. I have high hopes. High hopes. So um, I took Holden, um, you know, to freshman orientation this week. So both of my boys will be in high school together this year. And um, 
that was the only time I got a little bit weepy when I realized like it just, I woke up one morning and was weepy because not that I want him to be little again. Like I, I love watching them grow up and be young men, just that they were both going to be there together. And I'm so sentimental. Just that's where Matt and I went and I, all of our family went there. Like, it's just, yeah. And then I think it's cause he's the baby, but I, it's not because I want him to stay little. It's just because I'm like, what? I know. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. I know it's funny because um, one of my favorite things to do with the kids was always, and they loved it, was go school shopping. Just the school supplies, the everything. And um, they they still like to go do it. And both of them are in college this year. Um, and so... I mean, Alyssa's doing some continuing education. She's like, Mom, take me school shopping. And I'm like, kid, she will never, she loves school shopping. You know, she wants and you it, to buy her clothes, honey. That's no, all. no, no. She wants the school supplies. Oh, God. Yeah. I hated buying school supplies. We're talking about yeah, notebooks. Like, oh, God. Yeah, like I hate notebook that. or pencils or markers or oh, whatever no. it is. She, yeah, she loves it. So, and then, you know, I actually, after the whole thing, the very bad thing that happened in El Paso, I was actually a little frightened to go to Walmart the other day, and that is so sad. So prayers all to those people. It's terrible. But, you know, I just yeah. want to, you know, they were just yeah. innocent people school shopping. It's just crappy. So, I mean, God, can't people just be normal and nice? It's so easy. They, they can be. Yes, they can be. <sighs> All right, so you started with Queen Bee, sister? Yeah. Okay. So um, what do you think about me hand painting? Do you have any tips for me hand painting this architectural design on here? Have you ever done anything like that before? I've used no. tape before, like, you know, tape to outline things, but I've never right. tried to create like a design other than really flowers. Um, well, I think that's a good challenge for you. So, um, yeah. Yeah, um, it should be a challenge. Kind of like the peacock. That went nowhere. That was terrible. That was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that would be fun to do just to, I mean, it's very creative of you. So, um, that's definitely a good, a good challenge. I love office supply stores. And I guess that was because my dad was in the office supply business. And so I love, like, the smell of, like, toner and chemicals and things like that. My dad was a typewriter repairman, typewriters and copiers. And so he had this vat that cleaned all of that stuff. Mm -hmm, and it mm -hmm. has this specific smell to it. I do not know what it was, but my daddy smelled that way. Like, I just, it was just how he smelled because he would deal with that vat. Um, yeah. It's a wax. Um, there is a wax from Europe that smells exactly like that vat. And every single time I open it, it's just like, I can't get enough of it. I'm like, oh, my God, I love the smell of this. <laughs> just it, yeah. it does something to your memory, huh? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. But I love yeah. office supplies probably because I was always in an office supply store with him. Because he started before he had his own business working in an office supply. So it was about, you know, like ink pens and paper and copiers and old typewriters. Yeah. And those typewriters weren't old then, you know, and, you know, they're not making typewriters anymore. So um, I, I used to get real teary eyed every time I would go to a flea market and I would see typewriter. Man, I couldn't even, Aww. I couldn't even look at them because I would help him with it. And I, you know, it just, it just gets you sometimes, but it's happy because, you know, he did that for our family for like 40 years. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. So your, yeah. you know, your own business for 40 years is great. Who does that? I know. And, and it was the same type of business. It wasn't like it, he had to switch or change, you know? Right. Ooh, I like the yellow on that. Now, what color are you going to be putting over that? I don't know. Oh. Is this for a customer? No. Not yet. It will be available. 
That's a serious fan you've got going on. It will, I know. It's like I've, I've got my 80s rock star Tawny Katane white snake video hair going on tonight. <laughs> got it. All I need is the hood of a car. You know, car is car. in the driveway, and it's a Fiat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. you got to take a picture of that Fiat. Do you think you just... Mercedes no. in the video? <laughs> the Fiat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Y'all are going to go girl. watch that video. If y'all haven't ever seen it before, go watch it. Because just imagine me on top of the Fiat, and that's quite funny. <laughs> oh, you get, like, I don't know how that girl gets in that, but I could get, like, one leg in it, I feel like. She, how she did what? How I get in that car. She's, of course, she's tiny. She I wasn't like in I could... the car. She was on the car. I'm telling you, listen to me. Turn down your fan. What I said was, I feel like I wouldn't even be able to fit in that car. The Fiat. My son because... is six foot three, and he gets in that car. Well, he's got to be like this. His knees up here, he's up here by his it. shoulders. It's funny watching him drive it. It's like a little clown car. You know, you can just <laughs> push the car itself. It's just funny. <laughs> Oh, I see those little Fiats. Is anybody on here drive a Fiat? Raise your hand if you do. It's so tiny. I just feel like you could just get tapped by another vehicle and you would just go boing like a like yeah. a pinball machine. Like Yeah, boing. Carly's so tiny though. I mean she's little bitty. Right. So she got a little bitty car. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I feel like even me I couldn't even fit my leg in it. Yes. But you would fit fine because if the six foot three boy fits in there, you'll well, sure. That's now that you say that. If Drew gets his long legs in there, then I know I'd be good. So, are we going to tell everybody about our plans for our Halloween party, or are we going to hold off? I'm sorry. I have to move closer because I can't hear you and have the fan and paint all at the same time. Okay. Um, are we going to tell everybody about our Halloween plans, or are we going to wait? No. No, what? We're going to wait. We have to wait because we really need to sit down and actually probably talk more about the plans. We have a we have a generic impromptu plan. Right? Is it generic or is it impromptu? Which one? Both. Or because both? we don't both? I mean, we have this little generic plan that could go anywhere. It's going to happen. And then it's impromptu because we... We don't really know. I don't know I how spontaneous do. it's going to be. I kind of know. It's, I'm, I I'm, want it to I'm be gonna... spontaneous myself, so I don't want to give away a lot of it. Well, we have to tell them, like, what we're doing, though, don't we? Like, ahead no. of time or no? No. No? Oh. No. I don't okay, think so. Well, hey, guys, forget I said anything. Forget I said anything. She can, I'm telling you, if we make the plan, she's going to slip uh -huh. up and tell the secret. Well, see, I guess I was thinking we were going to tell everybody, and then they were all going to be in on it. And so. Mm-mm. Huh. Because, you know, I want, them to, I want them to hang out with us. I want them to be there online. Well, we might tell them the week before. Okay. Or maybe two weeks before. Okay, forgive it. Hey, Facebook, go back and rewind this. Erase. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, look at this. Look at the hardware that came on this buffet. Oh, that's pretty. The hardware, that hardware? Was that original to it? Yeah. That's pretty. Yep. This one didn't really have any good hardware, so I get to pick hardware for it. It had some very odd hardware on it. Well, it sure is a pretty piece, Q. It was kind of westerny. <laughs> okay, now oh I'm adding God. 57. His hair. Okay, so I'm going to add old 57. Like I said, I'm going to use six colors of blue on this piece just as wow. a backdrop because this is just a backdrop because I'm just using this photo as my inspiration. I'm just looking at the tile and I'm just kind of throwing in a bunch of different blues. I started with the. Um, the bohemian blue, but I'm just kind of getting it on there 
it's going to look completely different. But I really want to hand paint an architectural design on here. I have no idea how to do that. But it's just paint, right? Just paint. It's just paint. So um, we DIY has a bunch of new colors coming out on September 8th. Um, I cannot wait for September because every week that I come on for Friday Night Live, I'll be using a new color. So excited. You look so like a mermaid. I look like a you. mermaid with my hair. Blue. I know. Every time I look, walk away and then I come back, I get a whole new hairdo. <laughs> and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh. This hair. And I need a haircut. I was going to trim my bangs because they're usually cut very similar to Dion, straight across. I trimmed, but I trimmed however, mine today. I've been pulling it up so much, I didn't even realize it was this long until today. So it's getting quite long. <laughs> okay, so show me. Can you get a little closer on your yellow piece? Sure. Or can you not? I don't know. I think you can. Can you zoom? I don't know if we can. We can't zoom like this, can we? Okay, no, no, no. No, it's okay. I can see well. I can see well. Okay, it's I mean, good. I can turn down the light a little. I mean, it's just yellow. It's just yellow. Okay. Queen bee. Right at the moment. It's drying. I'm trying to let it dry. Okay. Um, I'm curious what you're going to put over it. Are you doing like a blue? I don't know. Or do we get to pick? Or no, we don't. You can, don't you can give pick. me suggestions, yes. Nope. So, Brady said you need to make him a new sign that says man cave instead of boy cave because he's starting high school next week and he's now man. Aw, Jenny. Brady's like a, how old was, how, but Jenny, my friend Jenny I'm talking to, I painted with Jenny in Round Top, you guys. Do y'all remember that? Yeah, I remember. Hi, so Jenny. That's my friend Jenny Tucker and she's the sweetest boy named Brady. And so when I met them, he start. how old was he when we met? Is that six years ago almost? Oh my heaven. Oh, what is happening? So he's about Holden's age. Wow. Wow, yes, I made him this fantastic camouflage sign that said Boy Cave on it, like a long, long, Aww. long time ago. And so now I guess I need to make him a main cave one, even though it might make me cry a little bit. But I will make you one, so I'll see you at Round Top in uh, <laughs> September. Holy, that's coming up. When do you go? Huh? What days are you going? Uh, it will be the end of the month. So it'll okay. be the last week of Round Top. Jenny, 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 give me dates. Uh, you know we have a class on the 28th. Right after, right after our class, I'll be heading that way, I think. Okay, okay. Why, did you think I was going to miss our class? I said, um, you know, we have a class then, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have a little class then. We have a big yep. class. It's going to be full. It's going to be bunches of people. Yeah, it's going to be a halfway, great one. I think, are we over halfway sold out? Something like that. Yeah. We, um, I had sold a bunch of tickets last week when I was on vacation. I haven't totaled up how many we have left. I haven't looked. So right now I've only used four colors, you guys. I said I was going to use six, but I'm not sure on the base coat I'm going to be able to throw in sea glass and mermaid tail or sea glass and apothecary only because these four colors are already making so many different blues that I'm not sure I actually need six. So um, I have bohemian blue, mint chip. I have old 57 and mermaid tail. That's what I'm working with right now. So apothecary and sea glass may just not get used on this base coat especially. I may just do a few little highlights with my petty knife, but I just want to get the whole piece covered. And so tomorrow I will come on live on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Actually, I'm not sure I'll do it tomorrow because it's also our anniversary and we're going to go to the art museum. Hugh, you look stunning with the hair like that. <laughs> it's like a game. <laughs> I don't know how the models do it. They just look so glamorous you know 
Yeah, I don't know if you, if you'll have to check in with model school and see how they handle the fan. I'm sure there's a whole month on fan class, how to handle the fan. There's got to be a, a, a course on just how to stand, not like, yeah, the fan is, is yeah. Because they're seeing the little mermaid, they think I look like a little mermaid tonight. So I guess that's what I've got going on with the hair. Yeah, it's going. It's like a turn, it does its own own thing <laughs> okay so i'm wait a minute what were we talking about i feel like i asked you something your anniversary you're going where to do what oh no what i said was i won't be live tomorrow probably because we're going to go to the art museum in oklahoma city they have an ex exhibition here um from monet and van gogh oh wow wow that was be... matt's idea not mine. Matt said, why don't we go? We've never been. And I'm like, let's go. So we're going to go let's do that tomorrow afternoon and then go to dinner for our anniversary. 21 years. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Good. You did good putting up with old Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. He's pretty good. I'm reading, I'm reading y'all's comments if you're wondering what in the world I'm doing, but I'm trying to read through one with one eye through this hair. Yeah, so. No problem. So, so were you, so how, were, how were you like, were you like 20 when y'all got married? Around there? 21? Were you 21? I was 22. 22? Of course was, you were 22. He, he, we got married three days after he turned 21. We got married in Jamaica a year and a half. We, we got married in Jamaica by ourselves. Just the two of us yeah. went. Yeah. And did, have you ever told anybody why y'all got married in Jamaica by yourselves? I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know, because like you, you, well, you came along, you come a long way from some shyness. Right? Oh, because I couldn't imagine walking down the aisle in front of people. Like, it was terrifying. Here we go. And so, yeah, if y'all yeah, yeah. can even imagine Dion, who does lives almost every single day of her life now, we would not get married song. in front of people. Oh yeah, she God. wouldn't get married in front of people. But look how far she has come. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, I can walk down that aisle now. So, we're going <laughs> to yes, renew our too. vows. Okay, I forgot our theme song. I can, I'm... I'm embarrassed. You got a what? Oh, you're going to what? I forgot our theme song, Mermaid. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yes. Are you playing what it? What I say? You said you're going to play no, the I... theme song because you're embarrassed because you forgot to play it, but I didn't remember either, so. But I'm sure they were waiting for it. But so we haven't I'm, seen each other like in weeks. So it's like starting all over again. I know. I have so much to talk to you about. I know. I didn't even get to call you back today. And I'm sorry because I, I did. I, my day was it. Fr Friday is such a hard day. It is. That's hard. Are you playing it? Kidding. No, I have to find it. Oh, you get just to find it. I got to pull it up. Well, I'm going to look at it for a minute. Can you hear it? Yes, I can hear it. Sorry, this was supposed to be at the beginning. You about to chill. Oh, wait, more eight. Count. Sorry. Uh oh, more count. More count. It's, I'm starting to sweat. You starting to sweat? You're about I'm to sweat. Chill. Right, Michelle, I was. Showing you how the pink pixie brush. This is how we grow down. So share and comment, but don't start a fight. Just turn it up and chill with us. It's Friday night. Friday night, Friday night, Sorry about that. I had to. I had to. Just, I. I just couldn't believe I forgot. Bobby Wheeler, right here. <laughs> I do, Michelle. I'm like, bring it, bring it, bring it. Everybody's got to have a thing. I am, I'm starting to sweat. I'm like, 
You're not dancing. No. I never said I was dancing. I didn't ask you to. Someone else said, is she dancing? And I said, no, she's not. But I'll just do the fans. I have to do any work. Uh, love that theme song. Thank you, Bobby Wheeler, for giving us a theme song. You are so brilliant. Um, Thank I'm you. ready for another one. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have him start on another one here pretty quick. Another one for what? For this? It's a surprise. Can't tell you. Mm. For what? Mm. 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 I can't tell you. Oh, oh. I mean, I can tell you. I just can't tell everyone. <laughs> okay. Okay. So half of mine is dry. Actually, I've painted almost the whole entire front of this, um, but I think I'll turn it. So, um, do you have any idea what you think you might paint for the class? Like, no. is there a technique I'm going, that you've I'm been going, asked? I'm going, I'm going Q style freestyle that day. So, kind of depends okay. on the piece, really, for me. Yeah. 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 I'm with you. I, mean, I understand. Yeah, it just kind of depends. I'm sorry, you guys. I mean, I know that that's not real, but I don't really paint by like numbers. <laughs> well, I don't either. Hello. I, I don't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it because if it says put red in number one, I want to put orange. If it says put blue in number five, I'm gonna want to put purple. Okay. So, um, thank you, Debbie. Um, I, so let me reword that then. Let me rephrase that. So is there a particular style that you get asked about more than any other? No. Like, hey, you know, how do you do that? That kind of thing that you're thinking of sharing or you're just going to grab a piece and you're just going to go freestyle. I'm just going to grab a piece and go. Um, honestly, okay. I, the way I paint, I don't, I don't paint um, for repetition. I don't paint to duplicate. So I paint because I like the way it makes me feel when I finish. Yep. So if I'm going to truly paint a piece that I want somebody to win and take home with them, it's got to be totally, completely freestyle, artist choice kind of thing. So it's just really going to depend on the day. So okay. no, I'm fixing to add a weathered wood to the yellow right now. Okay, weathered wood. Okay. Awesome. And, I've wa and I just watered it down a lot. I just watered it down because I don't want a whole lot on there. I just want to see what it, I'm going to do with it in the creases, really. Okay. Hey, I'm dying to finish our, um, our graffiti piece. I'm sorry, what? I'm dying to finish our graffiti piece. Oh, I know. I know. I'm really excited I about that. I want to get yeah, that finished. I don't, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that, but I want to. Well, I just mean sometime I'm there with you. Yeah. Did you hear me? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think sorry, so. Sorry, what? I'm sorry, what did she say? No, no, I just said, I mean, when I'm there with you sometime. Yes, when you're here with me. I don't me. expect you to do it by yourself. No, I don't want to do it by myself because it wouldn't be ours then. What color yeah. is that hair? My hair? What color is my hair? My hair is uh, black velvet, maybe? I don't know. I haven't colored it in weeks. It needs to be colored. Seriously. I need a hairdresser, not just Quita, the hairdresser who doesn't know what she's doing. So I haven't been to the hairdresser in years. I've told you guys it's been like 10 yeah. years. But I have an appointment this week to get my hair colored and cut. Oh, no. Did you say, oh, no? My, not about you. My, the lights just went out. Like, there's no lights in here except for my ring light. That's it. Oh, I didn't even, I can't even tell that. But uh, as long as you guys can see the piece, and I can go down lower if we need to, but if we need to do that, okay. So what color are you using? Uh, whether right now? 
on my paint. Yeah, it, it looks Weathered purple. Wood, That's... But it's just watered down. It's just watered down, so it's thinner. It's not real thick. Okay, it looks like it's purple. That's why we were asking. Oh, okay. No, no, we don't have we don't have a DIY purple just yet. I hope one day. I don't really know all the colors that we're getting, so maybe that's one we'll get. Well, it just looks that way, I think, is why people were asking. Yeah, no, it's just the light, you guys. So I'm just, I'm putting, I'm making it a little bit darker is all. So your light there where you are kind of just went out on you? Yes, I have no lights. I have the ring light, and that is all that I have. So I apologize. I'll move you guys and kind of see the piece. And then I'm just, I'm kind of playing with this color. And then I'm using water because it's drying so fast. I'm not doing anything else, but. Kalita, who's your favorite artist? Like, you, like do you, you? Well, I have a couple. So let me, can no. I give you like my list of five? <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. Q. <laughs> okay. I want to give you a list of five. Are you, are you mean like a favorite artist, like furniture artist or a different kind of artist? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't care. Just like a favorite artist. Or multiple, five. Yeah, go for it. Tell me. I don't care. Okay, Just, well, my... Who do you love the most? Like who do you, whose work do you look at? Like it doesn't have to be past, present, anything. Okay. Um, excuse me. This hair in me are not getting along it. Okay. Um, I like, is it Gerard Jonas or Jonas Gerard? I'll go blank. Um, he's an abstract artist. And then I love Pollock and always, okay. always. Who doesn't love Monet? So then furniture artist. Um, so it would be you. And Amanda Elman from U Turn Designs, um, mm -hmm. Anissa Moyarty from This and That, mm -hmm. and Dear to Be Vintage. I really like her stuff. Oh, um, Tony. Yes, Tony. I like her stuff. And you know. I really like a lot of, like, I mean, I see a lot of people that are pretty new that, mm -hmm. um, that are doing really, really good job and they're growing yeah. as far as like, um, their artistry and stuff. And so, um, I like LaDawn Wooten stuff. I love, um, mm -hmm. Brent Brush by Brandy is the most amazing blending goddess mm -hmm. I've ever seen mm -hmm. in this business. I don't know mm -hmm. what she does. It's like, Magic. Um, Chris Dawn yeah. is good. Uh, and then there's, oh, Karen Russell. She is rocking it. So those are some of the people that I really, really like to really watch, you know, that are really kind of standing out a little bit. So, um, but as far as like, um, it's hard, it's hard to say, okay, yes, that's your favorite. It's like asking me now. What my favorite color is on furniture, totally different from my favorite color in life. Okay, your favorite color in life is purple. Yes. And your favorite color on furniture is blue? Blue. It's blue, mm -hmm. but I love blue and purple combo because I think blue is so close to purple, but purple is my, like, and it has to be deep purple, not like light purple or anything like that, not lilac, deep amethyst. Yeah. Eggplant, eggplant purple love. Okay, so I don't like the dark, so I'm going to go over and back over it with this yellow. <laughs> you don't like it as in you just don't like the way it looks I don't right now? Like it. It, just, it just doesn't freshen up this little Frenchy piece, and she needs to be softer. So I'll just, it's just paint, y'all. So, who are your favorite artists? Oh, Toni Weston was on here. She was so flattered that you mentioned her. What? What? Wait, what? 
Tony was on here and she was so flattered that you mentioned her. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she she um she and her mama have been rocking it. Did you see her in her cute little Mexican like style dress and hat sombrero that she wore this week? I didn't get to see it. Y'all, I've been not really she, been online. I just Well, that's I'm okay. So, it's still there. It's on her page I and will it's, go, it's but I will go catch up at some point when I just sit down a minute and I'll go catch up with everybody, but yeah. Well, so. I like when I, I the the artist that I don't usually um oh Karen said it too. I just fainted, she said. <laughs> Karen was on here. Um I don't necessarily like I always look to artists that like I look like I look at photographers and like everyone knows I love Till Duncan. Um and I have this Carolina I don't know how to say her last name. Like I'm some of the artists that I follow on Instagram. That's my go-to place is for Instagram. Um, mm -hmm. And looking at their, their current artwork at uh, Moss and blue. Uh, she's starting to carry her things in like anthropology and West Elm. Those are their color combinations that just inspire me to create on a piece of furniture. I love looking at, um, at their work too. Absolutely love it. But no, you named a bunch of wonderful furniture artists that, um, I love seeing the direction that they, they take. And of course, um, the last few pieces, especially that Debbie Beard has done, where she's putting those molds and creating like a piece of architecture on a piece of furniture, that's blowing my mind too. I told her in our interview earlier, I was like, she, you're on fire. Like you've got like fire underneath your tail. Like one piece after another just keeps getting better and better and better. Karen has such a great use of color and she's fearless. I love her. She's come to our classes. Um, and Tony, I'm going to meet Tony one of these days, right, Tony? You're going to come Me see too. us, right? Yeah. Get her. She needs to come to this class. She does. Yep, she does. Oh, thank you, Laura. Thank you so much, sweetie. What? I'm not your favorite artist? What the what? Honey, I have told you from day one, you are my absolute number one favorite furniture artist from day one. You already know all of that. Like, and every time I'm I say not, it, you say so no. Cool. And I'm like, I'm no, you, you are. You are. I absolutely love everything that you do. Okay, I'm just opening these doors up, you guys, because the way this piece is made, it has a circular door. And I just noticed that it was covering up a whole lot of this inspiration of this piece inside of here. So, so that's like a, one of those mo more modern art deco pieces. Yeah, it's definitely got yeah. the art deco feel from the '40s. For yeah, sure. I like those art deco pieces. They're getting. Yeah, I'm hoping hard. that they're getting harder to find where they're still in good shape because sometimes they are just they're brittle. Michelle Replogle found this for me in Tulsa. Oh, she did. She's so good about finding stuff. She found me a great on warrant and like, I can't remember where I went. Broken Arrow, I think. Yes, yeah. she, she has been helping me a little bit. And my nephew, Mason, has uh, been go He went and picked it all up from me. I wish I had a picker. It would save me so much time and keep me in the studio. But I don't have a picker, really. So that would be, that would be something nice. Yeah, it was nice to send him. Of course, you know, he he liked driving, and he didn't mind picking it up. And, and the West Show was so wonderful to search for it and hold it for me until he could get there. That was really nice. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, so I'm just outlining this with just a base coat, you guys. I'm not worried about getting it too perfect, um, as I never am. You know that. Um, okay, don't get paint on your shorts. So right now, I feel like it looks like a hot mess. It's not attractive in any way, shape, or form. This is the base coat. We used um, Bohemian Blue. We used Mint Chip, Old 57, and Mermaid Tail, and stay closed. Um, and so the next thing I want to do, if you missed the beginning, the next thing I want to do is to start kind of outlining a little bit of architecture design on the doors. I don't know. I've never done this before. The only thing I've really ever used is tape. 
um, where I've created straight lines. I've never done anything like this before, but we're going to go for it. We're going to give it a shot over the next few days. I'll be back on Sunday probably for um, a live here. And then Q and I will be back next Friday. You guys, if you will pass this video around and do, um, if there's people that you know that might enjoy a little paint show, a little yellow, a little blue, a little mermaid hair, and pass it around for them. Yeah, like drawing butterfly wings. That's right, Jenny. And I don't know how to do that. But I'm going to try. I want to do something different. That's all. I want to do something as different as I can. Yeah, exactly. Um, you guys, if anybody's interested in joining us, our tickets, I will post them here. Um, and like I said, I think we have about half of the tickets sold. And uh, ask Matt. Oh, that's a great okay. idea. Sports tape works on circular. Sports tape, like the kind yeah, you wrap you around. Like... Yeah, that's a great idea. Great. Try that. Okay. We have that around here. I got some around that house. With all those yeah, sportsmen. I do. I do. I do for sure. Um, yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go have some chocolate birthday cake. And um, Q is going to figure out what's going on with her lights. No, I'm just going to turn this one off and, and go. And go. <laughs> Ow, I'm, it, I'm, it's hot. I'm tired. I'm beat. And, yeah. And I've already done a music video tonight for you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you, uh, whenever you get on the top of that Fiat, just take a picture. We want to see Oh, my it. gosh. That is going to be hilarious. It really would be. I mean, that really, 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 really will be funny. I know. All right, you guys, so. have an awesome weekend. We will be back in seven days at 8.30 p.m. Central Time um, for <laughs> another episode of Friday Night Live. We appreciate you all. Good night, Q, honey. Be careful. Good night. Okay, good night. Have we want you to come Matthew. to Tony. All right, you guys, thank you for um, part one. Thank you, you too, Debbie. I appreciate you going live with me earlier too. You guys, if you missed Debbie on here with me earlier, we were on at eight answering some fun questions and I told a story that I'd never told before. Um, we'll see you all next week. I'll actually see you before then. I'll be back on Sunday for another live and I'll work on the next step of this. I don't know. I'm, it's going to need to speak to me. Yeah, going to need to speak. All right, you guys have an awesome night. I'll see you.